और डियर स्टूडेंट्स और दिस इज महेश जवलकर फ्रॉम मराठा मंडल पॉलिटेक्निक एंड और टुडे आई विल बी पोस्टिंग माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट सब्जेक्ट इन विच आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग क्लास सी पावर एम्पलीफायर सो द हेडिंग टुडे विल बी क्लास सी पावर एम्पलीफायर नाउ इफ यू सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्लास सी पावर एम्पलीफायर इट सेज दैट वेन द collector current flows for less than half cycle okay so the collector current has to flow for less than half cycle of the input signal the power amplifier is known as class c power amplifier so here if you see less than half cycle means if the input is like this say if the input is like this this is in input okay now it should flow for less than half cycle so half cycle is from this to this that is 0 to pi or it is called as 180 degree so it should flow for less than that less than that less than half cycle so it should be less than 180 degree okay or it should be less than pi okay if the collector current flows for less than 180 degree that is less than half cycle then that particular power amplifier is known as class c power amplifier now if you see the circuit of class c power amplifier so here we can show that the transistor is npn here so this is n this is p and this is n this is your base this is emitter and this is collector it is connected in common emitter configuration here here you are going to apply your input so here you are going to apply your input this is the input okay and the output you are you are going to take across a tank circuit this is a tank circuit so this is a lc tank circuit so instead of a resistance we have used a lc tank circuit which will be resonant it is a parallel resonant for a particular frequency and this is the energizing voltage voltage supply that is plus vcc dc okay and here you are going to get your output here you are going to get your output so this is your output whatever amplified version you are going to get here so this is this is your output between the a collector and the ground okay now here if you see the graph of the output characteristics say this is y axis and this is uh, for your collector current this is uh, representing your collector current ic and this is x axis which is representing your collector emitter voltage this is your ac load line this is ac load line okay and this is your input okay now you have taken your operating point here you have taken your operating point below the x axis so here you can see operating point is taken below the x axis now if this is your complete input cycle then because the operating time operating point is taken below the x axis the output will come only so much if you superimpose okay so it will be less than 180 degree it will be less than 180 degree okay now here the class c amplifier is the most efficient power amplifier which can produce more lo more load power than that of either class a or class b okay to amplify a sinusoidal signal a class c amplifier has to be tuned to the sinusoidal frequency this is very important to amplify a sinusoidal signal that is a sine wave a class c amplifier has to be tuned to the sinusoidal frequency therefore class c amplifier is also called as a tuned amplifier therefore in place of that rc resistance we are using a lc tank circuit and that tank circuit will be tuned for a particular frequency because it is a resonance circuit okay so this a resonance circuit plays a very important role in class c operation okay now here if you go to see 
the a graph as we have seen earlier also the output characteristics so this is your ic collector current output current which is called as output current and this is your vce that is the collector emitter voltage which is the output voltage okay and this is your ac load line this is your ac load line ac load line and here you are taking the operating point just below the x axis so if this is your input this is your input signal whatever you have shown here if this is your input signal okay this is your input signal then the output signal will come only for less than half cycle that is shown here for less than half cycle okay this is your class c operation so it is less than 180 degree less than 180 degree it is less than the half cycle the half cycle will be so much but it is less than the half cycle okay now here that is what is happening over here is if the input waveform is the complete sine wave as we have shown here the input waveform is the complete sine wave so here you can see it is a complete sine wave okay this is the input what you have applied so that it should be amplified in class c operation then the collector current will flow for less than half cycle okay so this is what you have shown that collector current is flowing for less than half cycle the ideal class c waveform that collector current will look like this as a pulse narrow width pulse okay so here as a pulse and this pulse will energize the tank circuit lc tank circuit which is in the collector region and because it energizes that lc tank circuit which is in the collector region that tank circuit will produce this oscillations at the output these are the oscillations produced by the tank circuit these are the oscillations produced by the tank circuit okay so here we say the resonant frequency of the tank circuit is given by fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc the short pulse of oscillator current on each cycle of the input initiates and sustains the oscillations of the tank circuit so that an output sine wave is sine voltage is produced okay so sine voltage is produced at the output because of the tank circuit because it is acting as an oscillator but your c operation class c operation is giving only a pulse for the tank circuit to get initiated so the tank circuit will initiate its working as an oscillator whenever the pulse of the class c operation energizes it okay so here in our overall conclusion explanation class c power amplifier is a type of amplifier where the active element that is a transistor uh, conduct for less than one half cycle of the input signal less than one half cycle means the conduction angle is less than 180 degree and its typical value is 80 degree to 120 degree practically the reduced conduction angle improves the efficiency to a great extent but causes a lot of distortion a theoretical maximum efficiency of a class c amplifier is around 90 percent okay these are the important points of class c operation then if you go to see the advantages of class c power amplifier it has high efficiency excellent in radio frequency applications lowest physical size for a given power output these are the advantages of your class c power amplifier disadvantages of class c amplifiers gives that it has lowest linearity so as the input is varying the output also should vary that linearity is lowest it is not suitable in audio frequency applications that is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz it creates a lot of radio frequency interference it is difficult to obtain ideal inductors and coupling transformers it has reduced dynamic range okay so these are the disadvantages of class c power amplifier then if you go to see the applications of class c power amplifier they are used in radio frequency oscillations oscillator radio frequency amplifier frequency modulation transmitters booster amplifiers which will boost the output high frequency repeaters 
which will repeat the data, incoming data will be repeated at the output, tune the amplifier, etc. So all these are some of the important applications of Class C power amplifier. Thank you students. So here we have seen the explanation of Class C power amplifier.